Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to our YouTube channel Learning Tree. I am your Sahasra of class 10. I am here to explain you chemistry. And today I am going to explain the chapter Matter Around Us of 9th class. So before going into the topic, let us know what is matter. There are many meanings for the term matter in our daily life. One particular definition for the term matter is anything in this world that occupies space and has mass is considered as matter. Examples metals, non-metals, water, oxygen and even our body too is an example of matter. States of matter. The matter exists in three different states. They are solids, liquids, gases. Book and pen are the examples of the solids. Petrol and water are the examples of the liquid. Oxygen and the carbon dioxide are the examples of the gases. So let us know properties of the solids, liquids and gases. Firstly we will learn about the properties of solids. Solids have definite mass, definite shape and even definite volume. So take two solid objects like pen and a book, put them in two different containers. Does their mass, shape and volume change? No. So by this we can say that solids have definite mass, shape and definite volume. Now drop the two objects on the floor. It does not flow. That means it does not change its shape but remains rigid with a definite shape. By this we can conclude that solids do not show the property of fluidity and they are highly rigid. So what is the meaning of rigid? When an external force is applied to other material, there won't be any change in the shape. This is called as rigidity. Now coming to the compressibility. So what is compressibility? The capacity of something to be flattened or reduced in size by the pressure is known as compressibility. So take a piece of wood and press it with your thumb. Does the volume change? No, the volume does not change. It remains same. So the property of compressibility is not seen in the solids. Coming to the diffusion. Solids undergo the process of diffusion but the rate of diffusion in solids is very low when compared to the liquids and gases. To know more about this, we will perform an activity. Take a beaker full of water and add a few crystals of potassium permanganate to it. Initially, the potassium permanganate is purple black color. But when added to the water, the water color changes into pink or purple because of the diffusion. Here we are using the term called diffusion. What is diffusion? Diffusion is a movement of a substance from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. So the diffusion rate in solids is very low. Coming to the spaces between the particles. Before knowing that, let us know what is matter made up of. The matter is made up of very tiny particles. So the particles in the solids are tightly packed and they have less space between them. To know more about this, take a measured beaker and fill it with some water and mark the water level. Add some salt and stir it thoroughly with a glass rod. Observe it. Add some more salt and stir it again. Observe the change in the level of water. Does the level of water change? No, the level of the water remains same. Then where did the salt go? So, the liquid particles in a liquid have some space between them and the solid particles enter into the space between the liquid particles on dissolving solid in liquid. Coming to the intermolecular forces. In solids, intermolecular forces are more. Now take a piece of iron nail and try to break it with a hammer. Are you able to do it? No. From the above observations, we can say that particles of the matter have forces acting between them that keeps the particles together. These are the different properties of the solids. Coming to the properties of the liquids. Liquids have definite mass, definite volume and acquires the shape of the container. To know more about this, we will perform an activity. 
For that, we needed measuring jar and containers of different shapes as shown. And it is not mandatory to collect same containers as shown. You can collect the containers of different shapes which are available. For this, you also need some liquids like oil, milk and water. Firstly, take some water in one of the containers and observe the shape of the water in the container. Pour the same water in another container and have a look at the shape again. Repeat this process till you complete pouring of water in all the containers. In all these cases, we observe that the shape of the water changes. That means it acquires the shape of the container. And then take 50 ml of water with the measuring jar and pour it in the tumbler. Mark the level of water on the tumbler and remove the water from it. Now measure 50 ml of milk with the measuring jar and pour it in the same tumbler and mark the level of the milk on it. Are the levels of water and milk same? Yes, definitely the levels of water and milk will be the same. And again remove the milk from the tumbler. Now pour oil into the tumbler. Now what will be the volume of the oil? Yes, it's absolutely 50 ml. From the above activity, we observe two important properties of the liquids. That is, the shape of the liquid depends on the shape of the container. And volume is definite. And also, liquids can flow easily. Hence, they are also called as fluids. What does fluids mean? A substance that has no fixed shape and yields easily to the external pressure is called as fluids. Now coming to the property of the compressibility. Liquids show less compressibility when compared to the gases. So take 50 ml of syringe and fill it with the water and press the piston. So by this we can say that when the syringe is filled with water it is somewhat hard to press the piston. So liquids show the property of compressibility but less when compared to the gases and fluids are less rigid. Next, we will know about the diffusion process in the liquids. The diffusion process is seen in the liquids at a higher rate. Now take 250 ml round bottom flask with two third water in it. Use a dropper and put a few drops of potassium permanganate solution slowly along the side of the flask. We observe that the potassium permanganate solution get diffused into the water and give the color pink or purple. It takes only few seconds to diffuse. In the above activity, we can conclude that diffusion process in liquids is faster. Now let's know about the liquid particles. The liquid particles in the liquid are less closely packed. So the diffusion process in liquids is faster. And the intermolecular forces between the liquid particles is very weaker than in solids. These are the different properties of the liquids. So guys, the last state that is gases. So properties of gases. Gases have definite mass and acquires the shape of the container as liquids and do not have the definite volume. So go to a nearby CNG pump and Ask them where they store CNG. So usually they store CNG in a cylindrical or spherical shaped container. From the above observation, we can find that CNG and all other gases neither have a fixed shape and nor have fixed volume. And solids are highly compressible. Now take 50 ml of syringe and pull the piston to suck in the air. Place your finger on the tip of the piston and press the piston is it hard or easy to press so it will be definitely easy to press the piston and gases neither show the property of fluidity nor the property of the rigidity to know about the diffusion process in the gas let us do an activity for this we require a long glass tube with scale and liquid ammonia hydrochloric acid pieces of cotton two rubber cocks and a pair of tongues. So firstly take a 1 meter long narrow glass tube. Take two pieces of cotton, soak one of the cotton in the hydrochloric solution 
and another in the ammonia solution. Insert the pieces of cotton at the two ends of the tube with the help of tongues as shown. At the same time, close the ends of the glass tube with rubber cork and observe what happens. We observe that hydrochloric acid gives off hydrogen chloride gas and ammonia solution gives off ammonia gas. Both gases react together to form a white fumes of ammonium chloride. Observe the white ring in the tube due to the formation of the ammonium chloride. From this we also observe one more thing that is ammonium gas travels faster. This is about the diffusion in the gases. So the gases diffuse very faster than the liquids. Because the space between the particles of gases is very more and even the speed of gas particles is very high. These are the two reasons for the higher diffusion in the gases. And the intermolecular forces between the gas particles is negligible. These are the various properties of the gases.